I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do wrist cars. So for this, I'm typically going to hold on to my forearm until I get good at controlling the rotation component. And I'll show you some other ways to control it as well. Um, eventually, I want you to do it without your hands because that would be an actual level one car where you're able to isolate your wrist joint without using your forearm um, under actual neurological control of it. Okay. For now, just to start, I'm gonna grab onto my forearm just to make sure that my forearm isn't rotating and everything's coming from my wrist, okay? So I'm gonna create tension just like I do for every other car. So I'm gonna tense up my body, pretend that it's all in cement, okay? The only joint that's going to be able to move is my wrist. So I wanna make sure that my fingers stay nice and straight and neutral the entire time. I don't wanna see fingers bending or extending. They're gonna stay neutral the entire time. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and rotate my wrist towards my pinky as far as I can go. I'm going to extend my wrist backwards, pulling my fingertips towards my thigh. And I'm going to flatten my hand out, deviating towards my thumb. And I'm going to pull up and deflection as far as I can. I'll show you from a couple, couple different directions so you can see. Okay, so we're going to go out towards my pinky. Note that my palm is nice and flat. My forearm is facing the sky. Extension, I'm pulling my fingers back towards my thigh. I'm flattening my palm as I come towards my thumb. And then I'm pulling up into flexion. Okay, I'll show you three more times in that direction. So towards my pinky, into extension towards my thumb in deflection. Okay, and I'll show you the other direction. So now I'm gonna rotate towards my thumb, pull back into extension, towards my pinky, and into flexion. So now I'm just going in the opposite direction that I went previously. So clockwise and counterclockwise movement. Okay, show you from the side as well. So I'm going towards my pinky, going back into extension. Note my fingers are nice and straight. I flatten my palm as I go towards my thumb. Fingers are nice and straight as I come up into flexion. And you guys might have more or less range of motion than me. That is totally fine. Cars are meant to be expressing your joint range of motion, not trying to achieve someone else's. So follow what your wrist is doing and minimize compensation so that your wrist gets better and you aren't just cheating to create my wrist or someone else's wrist. Okay, big component, you wanna make sure this forearm stays nice and still right here and it doesn't rotate over so you could place your cell phone or a cup or a sock or something on your forearm right here to minimize the potential for that forearm to rotate, okay? As you go from your pinky into extension, it's not rotation like that. Your palm is always kind of face up throughout the whole thing. If you ever notice that your palm is face down, it's because your forearm rotated. So your forearm did the wrist motion. You want to minimize that. So typically, if you just grab on, eventually I want you to be able to keep your forearm nice and still as you isolate that wrist joint. 